Good morning, I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. And we welcome you back to Mornings with Brian and Tyler on this Thursday. We are in Isaiah 35, verse 7, Tyler. The parched ground shall become a pool, and the thirsty land shall springs of water. In the habitation of jackals where each lay, there shall be grass with reeds and rushes. All right. Whether yours is jackals or dragons, it really doesn't matter. Um, someone, dragons? Yeah, what do you think they used to call dinosaurs? Okay. Um, but what's the imagery here? Do you remember where our first drought in the scriptures recorded, Tyler? Genesis. Genesis. And we know the first drought is recorded because of a famine. Um, but it's because of the second one that we know that that was the first one because in the days of Isaac, there was a famine in the land uh, like the first in the days of Abram. Um, again, drought and uh, famine are a result of the post-flood world which is a the, the fact that there has to be a post-flood world is a result of the sin of Adam. And you say, well, man, you know, they were bad in Noah's day too. Right, yeah, I get that. Um, I want you to see something with this imagery in all of this and, and in all these different passages. And I want to encourage you, be careful how dogmatic you are about heaven. And some people, there won't be dogs in heaven. I don't know. You're going to be there, right? And I've known some dogs that, you know, depending upon who you are that's watching, I've known quite a few dogs that are probably way more likable than you. So, I mean, if God will let you in, uh, maybe he should let Rover in. And say, well, you know, you don't like cats, Brother Brian. Yeah, but i got no problem with cats in heaven. Because in heaven, cats won't claw you or give you an allergy attack. So, I don't care. Don't you see, who designed earth to be filled with life? Whose idea was that? Man's or God's? Whose idea was it for vegetation to be lush and for things to be blooming and flowering? When we get to heaven, we won't need food, brother. Have you ever heard that one from people? I think I have. Yeah. And I said, well, what a shame. I said, so the wedding feast of the Lamb, well, Jesus is going to have this big banquet prepared. We're all going to be able to drink wine but not become stumbling intoxicated. We'll get to enjoy the benefit of wine without being drunkards. But for those of you that, ah, that we won't have that in heaven, we won't need nourishment, we'll be sustained by the presence of God. Really? Apparently, God, um, and you can you can say to me, and I love I love when people are so dogmatic. Then you start talking about the the city that's four square that we see there in the twelve foundations, and they're like, that's just symbolic. Okay. What if there are lush gardens? What if the river there is actually a river? Keep in mind, God used to come to earth to spend time with humans in the Garden of Eden. And their job was to expand the garden over the face of the entire earth. That was their work. The garden was perfect. It was the template that they were to do the work of duplicating that as they populated the earth and filled it with life. And they were in harmony with the animals and so was God. And the fact that he's saying that the consequences of that will be gone in the new era should be an indicator to us that, like Paul said, eye has not seen, ear has not heard, nor has entered into the mind of man, or the mind of man has not conceived the things that God has prepared for those that love him. The gospel. So much more. So much more. 
than our Western industrial definition of it. Other thoughts, my brother? No, sir. With Adam Brian Reagan, this is Tyler Kelly. Well, did you good day?